Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stennett with tonight's Deep Dive. It is January 23rd, 2018, and I thought I would take a look at soybeans here today uh, with the ETF being SOYB. And what we have is the short, intermediate, and long-term indicators as far as the trends are all pointed to the downside, and we have a negative technical rating to the market. Now, we also had a pivot high that occurred here in our elastic level. And then in addition to that, if we pull over our deep dive uh, pro alerts, uh, which are obviously uh, pattern based, these generated, uh, there's a couple of things that actually triggered today. We had a profit taking flow high and we had a T rope type rope. That's what the T rope stands for high that occurred here in soybeans. So let me sort of uh, go through and explain what's, uh, what's taking place here and uh, you'll see what uh, what I'm talking about. So here's soybeans. These are daily bars specifically for uh, soybeans. You can see that there'd been a, there's been a nice move to the upside that uh, we've been long this particular trend. And now we're coming into some resistance, both at the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average. And times when we've, we've run into this condition before, uh, the, the market has a reversed course, and I'll show you on the, on the patterns here in just a second. But the elastic level, this has triggered and has uh, shown us to have a, a little pivot high, telling us the market's a little bit overdone, uh, and it's running into some resistance according to these moving averages. The other thing I'll point out here, and this is the, the one thing that worries me a little bit uh, for the, the reversal, is that the energy level is below a lower zone, which tells us the market has been quiet. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this. Uh, so with the energy level, the little bit of a consolidation, you can see the cons the consolidation uh, coming all the way through here, uh, sort of beginning as soon as we broke below this uh, support level, uh, where the market uh, came down. And ever since then, it's been trending sideways. Now we have a little bit of a bounce uh, with the surge that we've been having, but nonetheless, it's been in a consolidation and it was resonating and uh, measured uh, in around this period right through here on the 17th you can see that uh, it crossed below and had been below and now it's just starting to inch ab above the lower zone so it's no longer in a consolidation period with the low energy level uh, but it had been so let me flip around here just a little bit just to uh, explain that in a little more detail. The, uh, the energy level, you can see um, uh, this is uh, data as of last evening. We'll update things this evening. But the, the energy level for soybeans here at the bottom of the screen, uh, it had been low. And now it's coming back into some form of normalcy uh, where I showed that it started to bounce above. But it had, in the last couple of days, been uh, back in a low consolidation period. And for soybeans, when we take a look at the uh, expansion contraction uh, tendencies to the market, here is consolidation. Uh, if I find soybeans here, let's see, where are soybeans? Here it is. I'm just hovering right over it. Um, it doesn't stay in the. Uh, the contraction zone all that frequently if you look at it historically so just a little over two percent two point three um, so when we get into it generally uh, that means that the market can have explosive moves um, it just takes a while but uh, we're no longer in that zone I'm gonna flip back to the to the chart here so the fact that we are in this lower zone area now just starting to come out of it tells me that maybe this time it's going to be a little bit different with the uh, the moving averages so if I pull up the patterns uh, what you'll see here is what we've had is a T rope uh, high 
uh, that, that is triggered here in uh, soybeans and we also have the flow high. Now T-Rope what that does is it looks at the way in which the market interacts with a major moving average. In this case it's the 200 day moving average. So these white dots that you're seeing here just looking at a, cu a couple of them historically we had one that occurred here on the 9th uh, meaning um, November 9th of last year we had another one on the October 20th, another one just a few days before that, October 17th. So these white dots mean that the market is interacting with the 200-day moving average, and the way that it interacts, uh, sometimes we get these white dots, which is what the T-rope represents. So bottom line is that uh, in, in the recent past, we've had reversals from that, and we now have that same condition. The difference is, is that uh, in this environment, the energy level had been low, and we're coming out of a contraction, uh, consolidation type phase. So, what does this mean for for us? If we pull back to the to the website. The systems are currently long soybeans, having taken advantage of that uh, that little surge that we've been seeing. Uh, we're long corn as well, and that we're uh, short wheat. So just understand that this is a sector overview for the grains as a whole. But we're in fact long in this case uh, soybeans, and so the fact is is that we're running into some resistance levels uh, for soybeans, but the systems are still long. And I'm just pointing this out to you that we're going to maintain, obviously, with what the systems tell us to do until they reverse course. We do have the the, the two conditions. There's the uh, the flow high. Uh, point this out again. We have the flow high that has occurred here in soybeans, which is a, an opportunity to take some profits if you chose to. Uh, and we have this uh, resistance kind of environmental change that is occurring and we've had this condition as I mentioned a few other cases the difference is in the is, is in the uh, energy level so as a whole uh, this is just a breakdown of uh, profit and losses for all of the different markets that we track uh, soybeans right here is doing pretty well with the, the current conditions but you can see other markets are, are doing uh, even better and you can see that a lot of the systems are actually doing quite well but soybeans and is has an little profit so for those of you that are skittish and looking to take some profits that flow high is there for a purpose where the uh, the the condition is set up where it's there for the purposes of profit taking so we'll just simply uh, see how things kind of play out here uh, going forward uh, but uh, for all intents and purposes I think that soybeans has had a nice move where we've taken advantage of it We've got this uh, resistance levels, as I've been sort of referring to, at least as far as the uh, the 50 and the 200-day moving average. We've got certain conditions that are are popping up here that you, for the more conservative traders, want to uh, uh, maybe pocket some some profits. Uh, but for our purposes, when it comes to the systems, uh, we've got three systems that are long net, uh, got about a seven grand uh, open profit uh, with the systems and. Uh, we're just going to sort of stick with what the systems tell us to do and hopefully that energy level that low zone consolidation uh, that ex the, we would be looking for the beginnings to an expansion uh, having been low for a period of time so let's see what does take place here with the uh, the market with soybeans as a whole uh, the way to trade that particular ETF again is the SOYB and we'll see how things can can change here if the the trends and the technical ratings can actually reverse course then that would obviously bode well for our open uh, position so we'll see how things kind of play out and we'll uh, look at another market tomorrow thanks very much